What's up friends, it's Tiffany Jenkins. I've partnered with Grove Collaborative and we're gonna surprise some well-deserving people. A little while back, I asked my community to nominate somebody in their life who deserved a little bit of goodness. As a certified B Corporation, Grove is recognized as a business doing good for people, animals, communities, and the planet. Shout out to Grove for making all of this possible and working with me on this project. On this episode of our series, I sat down with Jennifer, who was nominated by her husband, Greg. I was shocked by Jennifer's story and moved by what she's doing nowadays. Check it out and make sure you stick around to the end when we give her a surprise. Okay. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So why don't you tell me a little bit about Jennifer? She been through a lot. I mean a lot. You know, she's been through a lot of trauma from human trafficking, you know what I'm saying, the prison life. And she's a great inspiration to me, you know, because she graduated from ACC College and she got the, the degree of human resource. You know, she's uh, an addiction counselor. She's got a, a, a heart. How did you two meet, if you don't mind me asking? We was at uh, ATC. ATC is the Austin Transitional Center. It's a halfway house. I met my husband at a halfway house, too. And oh. <laughs> Yes, and that's actually where I ended up getting pregnant, was in the halfway house, which I don't necessarily recommend, but I'm just saying that sometimes from the darkness can come beautiful things, and it sounds yes. like that's what happened with you. Yes. Well, I would love to meet her if she is around. Yes, she's here. She's on, she, matter of fact, if you don't mind, I can go, hey, Jean. Okay. I've been trying to keep babies quiet because um, we have a lot of babies in our house. And so I've been trying to be like, get them all settled and, you know. You have been through a lot personally prior to caring for all these children. Right, you, right. You in your personal life have been through things that most people haven't gone through. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I was um, in a human trafficking situation from like 13-ish to 15. And my oldest daughter's um, a product of that relationship. Does your oldest daughter know? Yeah, she knows. And so I was I was held in captivity for those two years. And, I, and then um, I found out I was pregnant. And he had me in a room where like the windows were screwed shut. He would let me out because he'd have these parties. And I would clean. And I found like a mini screwdriver one time and I swiped it. It took me like a month or six weeks to unscrew with this tiny screwdriver, these screws that were in the window. But every time I get one out, I'd like re like draw on it with the black eyeliner to make it look like the screw was still there. And I had no idea, you know, and at that time when I found them forever, I was so scared, you know, I, I was terrified. Like, what am I going to do with these? But I knew also that I was pregnant and that I had to get away because what's going to happen to my child. When I got it on screen, finally I got, I got the courage and I ran and I ran and um, I was placed into the foster care system um, well, you were still a child yourself. Yeah. And, and, you know, we didn't know, like, we knew about trauma, but we did not know about trauma. I thought that if I just went to school and worked and took care of my baby, like I was never, nothing was ever going to happen. But then trauma comes back and then you're like masking it with addiction or like, you know, promiscuity or like any of the things, right? It took like 10 years of addiction of not being able to take care of my children properly, not being the parent that I promised myself I was going, you know, to be. What would you say was the turning point? What made you want to change and have a better life? Well, we know about addiction and like, and that lifestyle is that the pain of, of saying the same has to be greater than the, the pain of changing, right? I went to prison. I didn't have anybody there to support me. And I just remember that feeling of dread and that feeling of, I'm not going to live like this anymore. Did you finish college? In December of 2019, I graduated with my degree in human services, addiction counseling, and I'm a licensed chemical dependency counselor intern. That's so inspiring. If you could sum up what your life is like now and what your advice for somebody who's struggling and feels like there's no hope, what would that sound like? I think oftentimes we tell people to reach out, like, oh, reach out if you need something. I think those of us, those of us that have been in the dark can recognize the dark. And so I think that it's very important that we are proactive, you know. Like checking in, checking mm -hmm. in on somebody you think might need help yes. is important. Yes. 
checking in. And then just to know that every everybody struggles and there is a different life and there is a different way. And if people ask me all the time, did I ever think that my life would be where it is now? Not in a million years. And you give your love and you give your energy and you're helping so many people. And so um, Grove Collaborative and I have teamed up and we want to um, gift you a thousand dollars and um greg we want to give you five hundred dollars for nominating jennifer so uh, <laughs> um because we think that you're amazing i uh, very much appreciate it and you know and, and like i say uh, who knows i might give it away give back uh, you what me. see that's what i love about you too you're just you're incredible and you you know you can do what you want with it but it is yours Yes, oh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you for what you do. You make such a difference in the world. And it was an honor to be able to talk to you. I want to thank you and encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us. I think it's going to help a lot of people. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, you so a, much. Have a blessed week too. Make sure you join me next week when we get to surprise another incredible human being. This is so exciting.